In this video, we're going to talk about objects, object inheritance, uh, the apply method, and how that works with objects, very similar to classes. And then we're going to move on to traits, which are very similar to classes, again, and also multiple inheritance, which is allowed by traits. So let's start out with uh, objects. All right. So here we have a simple object. The object keyword is used to make these singleton objects. Uh, in this example, the name of the object is hello. This object has one method, uh, which is named speak, and that returns the string sup. So <coughs> in line five, basically what we're doing is we're just printing uh, the speak method of the hello object. Let's see what that, how that works in the code. So we can see that sup is returned. Uh, fantastic. So here we have a little comment saying that an object cannot be instantiated. So in this example, uh, new hello, hello is an object. Uh, so new hello would be like, that's what we would do with a class. Uh, we can instantiate classes. We can instantiate objects. So if we ran that code, it would error out. All right, let's uh, move on to an example that's a little more complicated. Uh, which is object inheritance. <clears throat> so here on line one, we're defining a Simpson class, and that's uh, defining a color variable, which is assigned to the string yellow. On uh, line five, we're defining the Bart object. Bart extends from the Simpson class, meaning that Bart is inheriting from the Simpson class, and defining a speak method which returns the uh, interpolated string I am color, uh, color being the variable that's set. Uh, since Bart is going to get all of the methods and variables from the Simpson class, uh, it will have access to that color variable. And when Bart.speak is called, I am yellow will be returned. Let's take a look at that. We can see that I am yellow is returned. If we change this to uh, green, we can see that I am green is returned. Uh, here we have a note that objects can inherit from classes. Well, we just saw that. The Bart object is inheriting from the Simpson class, uh, which makes sense conceptually. Uh, Classes cannot inherit from objects. That also makes sense conceptually. Objects are instances from cl of classes, so a class can't inherit from an object. All right, so this is pretty smooth sailing thus far. Let's move on to the apply method as it uh, works with objects. So in this example, we have an object called cake. Cake has one variable base, which is assigned to the string cookies, and another variable sauce, which is assigned to the string peanut butter. The apply method uh, prints a, an interpolated string, which returns give me base and sauce. In this case, it's going to, the apply method is going to return give me cookies and peanut butter, and that sounds fantastic. Here we're printing cake.apply. So, in this example, we're just using apply like any other method. Uh, so if we run this code, uh, it's going to print, give me cookies and peanut butter, no surprises. But apply is actually a special method in Scala. Uh, so if we delete it, uh, it's the delete the method name, it's going to be used by default. So here we have cake, we're invoking a method without a name, and the apply method is used by default. So we get the same result. Uh, there's no other methods that work like that. So if we rename this method to be yummy, um, so we could do cake.yummy, and this will work. Uh, but then if we delete the yummy method uh, name, this is not going to work because we don't have an apply method anymore. Um, let's see what error. This cake type does not take parameters. Okay. So 
just gonna undo that. So apply is a special method that's commonly used in Scala programming. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's go over here, clear that. All right, so now we're on the fourth example, which is traits. So traits are similar to abstract classes in Scala. They can't be instantiated directly, but other classes and objects can inherit from traits. In this example, we have a trait uh, called cool, which uh, defines a speak variable, uh, which returns the string, I am groovy. On line five here, we are defining an object called Joe Camel, which is inheriting from cool or extending from cool. And on the seventh line, we are calling the speak method on Joe Camel. So let's see what this returns. Uh, it does return I am groovy and it's working properly. So uh, now, now we're saying traits can't be instantiated directly. So if we do var cool dude equals a new cool, if we try to make an instance of the trait, that's going to error out. Let's actually copy this code in the console just so we can demonstrate that. Um, uh, let's copy this code in the console. So if we do new cool, we get an error. Um, so it's a, the error is trait cool is abstract, cannot be instantiated. So in that sense, it's very similar to an abstract class. Um, but it's different. Uh, and we will see that now. No, not CD. Bin 05. In that traits enable for multiple inheritance, which is a cool feature of this Scala object-oriented uh, programming landscape. So here we have a trait called speed. It defines a run method, which returns the string really fast. Uh, over here we have a trait called jump, which returns a leap, uh, which has a leap method that returns a string really high. So here we can see the cool trait uh, behavior. We have a Spider-Man object that's extending speed with jump. In other words, it's inheriting from both speed and jump. So this is the multiple inheritance that's enabled or allowed with, in the Scala programming language. Here we have the describe method that's using uh, run, which is defined in the speed trait, and leap, which is defined in the jump trait. Uh, so when we do spiderman.describe, it's gonna return, I can run really fast and jump really high. Let's check that out here. Um, and we can see that I can run really fast and jump really high is returned. Uh, let's make this a little bit smaller so you can see the, the entire code. Um, so again, we had the speed trait with the run method and also the jump trait with leap, leap method. Um, the Spider-Man object was extending from both speed and jump and it can access the run method that's defined in the speed trait and the leap method which is defined in the jump trait. So this wraps up uh, this discussion on object-oriented programming in Scala. We covered objects, uh, objects, the apply method, and traits. These are all key constructs in the object-oriented uh, programming portion of the Scala language.